My name is Tyler Bragginton, and I'm an Applications Manager for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can utilize the SolidWorks grid system in order to create the 3D sketch we need for a weldment frame. Here you can see I've got the frame created to form a side table. The side table will have a top as well as a shelf on it. To create the centerline profile for this particular frame, there's a number of ways I could create the sketch. I could do a single 3D sketch or several different combinations of 2D and 3D sketches in order to get the center profiles for each of the legs and bars creating the frame. However, rather than creating multiple sketches or one complicated 3D sketch, I can utilize the SolidWorks grid system. The grid system works by taking a single layout sketch and repeating it as many times as you'd like. In this case, I want to use three repetitions. Let's take a look at how it's done. I'll start a brand new part and begin a sketch on my top plane. For this layout, I just need a simple rectangle. I'll apply some dimensions. And my sketch is complete. Now this will form the base footprint for my frame. And I need a repeated sketch for the shelf as well as for the top. I can do that by creating extra reference planes and then copying the sketch entities to each of those planes. However, the grid system will do that for me. To find the grid system, I'll go to Insert, Reference Geometry, Grid System. The grid system works like a linear pattern. Specify the number of instances, including the original seed. So for this one, I want three, the bottom, shelf, and top, and then specify the spacing between each level. For this, I want it to be about 30 inches tall, so I'll do a 15 inch spacing between each layer. You can also choose to have the vertical legs split into individual entities between each layer, or be continuous and form single lines. Since I want my legs to be solid, I'll go ahead and leave this option unchecked. I'll hit OK, and now I have my three layers automatically generated. The grid system also generates some annotations to help refer to the different locations. If you don't want to see those, you can right click and turn off your display annotations. Notice that I don't have any legs showing. They're still there, they've just been turned off by default. Under the grid system, you can see my actual planes are created, the derived sketches, as well as the 3D sketch that creates the legs. I'll turn that sketch on. Now we have the frame for our structure very quickly generated. Next up, we can simply apply some weldment profiles. I'll go to Structural Member, set my standard, type, as well as size, and begin selecting my lines to form three groups. One for the top, one for the legs, and one for the shelf. Now I have my weldment structure completed. Today we took a look at how you can take a simple sketch and use the SOLIDWORKS grid system to repeat that sketch any number of times and utilize it for a weldment structure. Our side table is a simple example, but you can apply this on everything from scaffolding to entire tables and other features. Thanks for watching.